It's in a wild overnight burglary where thieves targeted a Carter's country. They grabbed dozens of guns but left several assault rifles behind. Channel 2 Sophia Ojeda has been talking with investigators. And Sophia, are they able to comb over some surveillance video from there? Yeah, investigators are looking at that surveillance video as we speak. They're trying to track down those 10 people they believe are responsible for this early morning break in. Now, workers here have been. Leading up, fixing to get Carter's country open very soon. This is what's left of the front of Carter's country guns and ammo in southwest Houston. The shards of glass swept up and thrown out, the remnants of an unbelievable smash and grab hours earlier. Houston police say it happened around 5 in the morning on the 11,000 block of South Wilkesh Drive. At least 10 men managed to methodically break into and steal upwards of 50 weapons. Here's how it happened. Police say one man was behind the wheel of a black Ford F-150 while at least 10 others stood in front of the glass doors just waiting. The thieves used chains to hook the metal covered glass doors to the back of the truck. The truck lunged forward. The doors ripped off. That's when the thieves attacked. Police say it only took a matter of minutes. The thieves ransacked the place, taking as many weapons as they could. Several cases and containers that were locked up on the floor were smashed open. Guns on display in the front were also swiped. More than 50 weapons in all were stolen in this brazen attack. Yeah, and police are now looking for a black Ford F-250. They believe that was a vehicle used in this attack. They also believe that was the getaway vehicle. They're also trying to figure out good descriptions of those 10 people they believe were able to pull all of this off. If you have any information, you are asked to contact Houston Police. Live in Southwest Houston, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Sophia, thanks so much.